What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K. Look, real quick, y'all. I was thinking about Starfield and the fact that people still don't understand the 30 frames per second outrage regarding this game. And simply put, it's not hard to comprehend. Look, this has the potential to be the biggest game in the world, yet it's missing the standards of performance expected of this gen for Xbox's most dedicated consumers. It's like, imagine the reception that God of War 2018 would have got if it was only playable in 480i or, or even 720p. It would have been lambasted. But as I think further, there's a deeper problem here. Now, for the record, I'm getting Starfield Day 1 for PC, but even at that, I'm concerned about the specs that were released on PC as they seem weird. Do I have to upgrade from my 3070 to, to even get 1440p 60, whatever the case? And if I do, how much will it cost me? You know what I mean? But then I think back. And I think back to when Starfield was once rumored to be en route to be a timed exclusive for PlayStation. You guys remember that? Was it? It was talking about negotiations between Sony and Bethesda that Starfield would have some type of exclusivity. You know what I mean? Now, what if that was true? And what if that would have happened? Under those circumstances, do we really think that Sony at the helm then would have said, yeah, Todd, your, your creative choice of 30 frames per second only is cool or would they have said Todd we paid a lot of money for this exclusivity this is huge for us not only that this has the potential to leave a huge mark on gaming and as an exclusive it also represents our brand our console and its capabilities we must leave no stone unturned Todd we're sending our engineers out this has to release with a 60 frames per second mode. <laughs> what you think is what would have most likely happened, right? So with that, the question then looms. Are we getting a lessened experience with Starfield on the console due to unfit and unrelatable leadership? Leadership that's just happy that the game is only available to them now via the purchase, right? And one with lack of regard on giving gamers the biggest bang out of their buck for the console they bought or potentially could buy. That's how huge this thing could be. Look, I, I don't know. It's just an unbelievable circumstance to me and only time will tell how this all pans out. But if you want to get more into this discussion, check out the links below in the description and the comments. We are having this discussion fully for our Patreon members our uh, Cloud Dosage members, or Hard Knock Digital Culture members, all of those members get access to the full discussion that we're having about this. If you're interested and you want to hear that conversation, check us out there and you can become a Patreon member via the link attached below. Just make sure that you're a mid-tier member, you're a tier two member, tier two or tier three member gets access to this conversation. Many more like it out there for our members. We got hundred over 170 pieces of content out there that you can enjoy and opine. With that said, that's it from your boy. Um, just had those thoughts that I had to get off. Until next time, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.